All right, welcome in to a little project. We take you back to the year 2016 in the college football world. And as many of you know, it was a horrible year if you're a Gamecock fan uh, because that was the year that the Clemson Tigers went on to win a national championship. I tip my hat to them. Good job. Well done. What the hell ever. But you always kept the question... You know, one of the big arguments is, could Clemson get it done if they had to play week to week in the SEC? And the other argument from us Gamecock fans is real simple. You know, would the Gamecocks have a much easier time if they got to play in the ACC? So what do we do? We're taking this program called Second and Ten Football, a great program, and we basically have gone back to 2016 and we have traded Clemson and the Gamecocks. Clemson in the SEC East and the Gamecocks in the ACC, or the hell the coastal division they're in. Um, and and they're going to play each other's schedule, and we're going to play it out each week, week by week. I might do like two of these shows a week until we get caught up. And we're going to play it out. Okay, and see what happens. And as you can see right here, this is Clemson. Okay, here's their schedule. Uh, as you can see, they were 14-1 that year. Okay. Uh, here's their schedule. Now, this game, you can replay all the games in the schedule. Like, for instance, okay, the South Florida game, okay, is the Gamecock Bowl game. That game, we're going to edit out, okay? So what's going to happen is this. We're not going to play all the bowl games, but we're going to um, play the conference championship game. So more than likely, I mean, people, Clemson fans believe that they'll win the SC East, which means they'll probably be playing the SC West champion down here. We'll edit that game and put that in there. And then we're going to see if they make the final four according to the polls. And this game does the polls. So uh, that's Clemson's schedule right here. Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, East Carolina, Kentucky, A&M, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Missouri, Florida, Florida, Western Carolina. And they play the Gamecocks, you know, just reverses around. Uh, they're at the uh, at the uh, uh, Gamecocks to that Clemson. Okay, so that's not a you know it, it, you know pretty tough schedule. That's not a great Gamecock schedule. They went six to seven with that schedule. Went to a bowl game that year. That's the schedule there. Can they pull it off and go to the national championship? We'll find out. The Gamecocks uh, schedule down here, and we'll see kind of you know how their schedule looks. Um, they're playing Auburn in week one. They were six and seven. As you can see there. They're scheduled Auburn at the start of the year at Auburn versus Troy, SC State, Georgia Tech, Louisville, Boston College, NC State, Florida State, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, hello, Wake Forest, Clemson. And then, of course, these games here are games that we, we are going to have to edit. Virginia Tech, Ohio State, Alabama, those are games that Clemson played for the ACC Championship game and for the playoff games, but those will be edited out based on you know, hey, if the Gamecocks say, you never, never, never know. The Gamecocks just might run the damn table and be in a damn playoff game. I doubt it. But, that, you know, we never know. I'm not really. It's not really to see what the Gamecocks do as much to see if Clemson can do it. This isn't a great Gamecock team. Um, so we're playing the games out. So the cool thing as well on this game is that um, we play it like they played it in real life. So that with the, the quarterback starts. And for instance, as you all know, the Gamecocks, Began the year with Perry Orth, that quarterback. So he'll start the game um, in week one against Auburn. And Jake Bentley will come in at some point um, you know, later on in the season. So let's kind of go through first. Before we get to the Clemson and Gamecock games, which we're going to kind of play out in real time. Like we're going to sim through but stop at certain port ports. Let's go through some uh, other big games on the schedule in week one. Not a lot of great games here. Charlotte and Louisville, I guess. We, we can quick do a play of that and see what happens there. Oh, Louisville, Lamar Jackson. I forgot about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson going off. No wonder why that D won the Heisman. He's just really good. Oh, wait, we'll get to Clemson in a second. William and Mary. We'll play we'll, the tribe for the Muse brothers, Billy and Mike Muse. Well, Billy Muse. Playing NC State, the tribe. Oh, they got they got destroyed. So let's go through. Not a great. Oh, Furman, Michigan State. We got to play Furman, Michigan, the Paladins. Can they pull the upset? Can they pull the upset? No, they cannot. Good lord, they can't. Um, Colgate and Syracuse. We gotta play Colgate and Syracuse, my Syracuse people, my Syracuse peeps. Oh, look at the Cuse. 
They're for real, folks. They're for real. All right. Uh, any other games worth kind of looking at? Georgia Tech Boston College. We'll, we'll look at that game. We'll look at that game. GTBC. Georgia Tech with a win there, 27-14. That's pretty good. Not a great slate in week one, 16. Um, Florida AM and and the U. Uh, Hawaii. Let's go Hawaii, Michigan. That, that could be an upset. Ups, nope, no upset there. Oh, uh, George, North Carolina. There you go. Bulldogs, Tar Heels. Oh, my Lord. What in the good God the hell happened there? 48 to 10. Good Lord, Georgia. We have to find out what in the... Look at Mitch Trubisky. No wonder that guy got drafted ahead and have Deshaun Watson. None turnovers. What in the hell happened? Michelle, I don't, I don't understand the... Uh, good Lord, Bulldogs just got destroyed. Good Lord. Good lord, that's pretty. That's pretty unreal. All right, let's go down here. Any other good games we can see before we get to the, the, the UCLA Texas A&M? That's worth a look. It's worth a look. It's worth a look. 45-24. Oh, UCF and SC State. Let's see. Let's see. 35-3. Alabama and USC. That's what this was the big game that weekend. This will probably not be close. Oh, Alabama, 44-20. Jalen Hurts so good with the win. Bama says they're winning the whole thing this year. Notre Dame and Texas, pretty big game here. Let's go watch that one there. The Irish and Texas. And Texas with a 48-41. No defense played there. FSU and Old Piss. Old Miss, sorry. 38-24. Dalvin Cook says, hello. Missouri, West Virginia. 42-21, West Virginia. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. They didn't score 70 points there. Okay, let's go. Let's, what games should we play first? Let's go Gamecocks and Auburn first. Let's go ahead and play this one out. And this is what we're gonna, how we're going to do this, okay? Um, we're going to play this bad boy out. Week one. On the planes. This is being slow today. Good lord, it's slow. The anticipation building. It's building. It's building. Oh, where are the planes? All right, so Debo's not playing this game. Shocking, he's hurt. So we're going to go A1 control. We're not, we're not going to coach these games. We're going to toss it up. And so... By the way, we're 21 point underdogs a game. I said we, but we are. All right, so we're going to do this here. So we're going to go to the end of the first quarter, see what the score is. So at the end of one, the Gamecocks are hanging in there. It is three to three, just hanging in. Just hanging in, playing balls. What the Gamecocks do? They come to play, they bring their lunch pails. So at the end of one, it's three to three. Halftime, it's 10 6 Gamecocks. The Gamecocks are trying to pull themselves an upset here, folks. Trying to pull themselves an upset. Trying to take care of business. Let's go to the end of the third. And now the, the Gamecocks have, uh, <laughs> have gone full Gamecock. 20 to 10. 20 to 10. Let's watch a play. Oh, Bentley's in the game now. Uh, the Perry Orth get hurt. We, we get to check this out now. I thought Orth should be starting. Well, they got Bentley playing. Maybe because that, that schedule's changed up and it's not it's a different schedule. They just play the guy who played the most snaps, I guess. Okay, I guess that's what happened. Whatever. But Bentley's playing pretty solid, though. 16 for 19, 115. Um, he's been sacked a few times, apparently. Um, Rico Dottle, not doing much. Hayden Hurst. Uh, Auburn, good lord. Petway. Yeah, that, that doesn't shock me. Okay, let's kind of see a play from Jake Bentley real quick. Let's see what Bentley can do. This is all text version. There's no movement in there. So Dowdle on the run. Uh, gets seven yards. Here they come, you know. Uh, third quarter. 
Let's we're gonna we're gonna fast forward to just the, just the uh, just the fourth quarter. Let's go through but anyway, through the fourth quarter makes a comeback. Still down ten, doesn't look good, but they are driving here. They are driving with seven fifty two to go in the game. All out blitz by Auburn. Bentley going back to pass. He's hurried by Lawson. He buys some time. Jake the Snake. He he looks for Hurst underneath. And it's tipped away by Greg Hall. Second and ten. Not good. Not good. We need they need something. They need something here. Not good right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Brian Edwards makes a big play. And the Gamecocks, I took my headphones off so I can hear the sound a little bit more. Um, let me turn this up a little bit so you guys can hear the, the emotion coming out of here. Oh, not good. Loss of the yard, second and goal. All right, a little technical difficulties. I hope you can see here the crowd action getting this ball again. It is pumped. They're pumped for this, folks. Oh, option run for Ben. I don't like that. So third and goal right now. Down by 10. They need a touchdown here. They really do. Ben looking, looking. Out to A.J. Turner. He comes down with it to four. And he's down quickly. Did they kick the field goal? They're going to kick the field goal. Elliot Fry and be down by seven. So the, the Gamecocks hanging in there. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Gamecocks, you know, hit 21 point dogs in this game, according to the computer. And they're taking care of business. I respect that. 5 4 3 to go now. Need, need, need to stop. They need to stop right here. They need to stop badly. Let's see if they can get one here. Defense can step up. And a good one. And a good one. Petway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's gone, I think. DJ Smith got him 28 yards. Uh, Petway's had a pretty big game. Pretty big game. I don't think we'll, the Clemson game will probably be a blowout, so we won't get to really watch much of it. So it's pretty good. We get we get a little game action here. Second and ten. Chris Lamonts. Double coverage. Antoine Wilder. Third and eight. Big third and eight right here. Big third and eight. You gotta step up right here, boys. You gotta step it up. One time. One time. Draw play the pet way, and he's hammered. Oh, second ever it's one yard. That's come that's some Gamecock defense. That's Gamecock defense right there. That's Will Muschamp, year one. One. Oh, flag down. Legal motion. legal motion. There you go, referees. Okay. Doing your job. Doing your job. Keeping it legal. They, I'm not gonna hurt him right now, because they're the Gamecocks have a chance to, to come down the field and tie this ball game up. And pull off a big week one upset. They're right in the ball game. They, they could win the ACC for crying out loud. 45 yard punt on the three yard line. It's not good. Not good. Start from the own three. Let's hope we don't do anything stupid. First and 10 from the own three. Got 97 yards to go. Jake Bentley leading them. Leading them. Rico. Uh, one yard gain. One yard gain. It's not going to do it. Second and nine. They need a big play. Dotto, six yards. I'll take that. Six yards. Third down and three. Big play call here from uh, Kurt Roper. What are you going to call, Kurt? What are you going to do? Oh, KC Crosby First says, I just make possession catches. First and ten. And the Gamecocks are still alive. Hanging on by the skin of their teeth. There's a blitz. Don't blitz Jake Bentley. Flag down. Flag down. What we got? What we got? Encroachment. Encroachment. Good call, referee. Defense. Good call. Guy saw it too. I saw the guy. I saw him. I saw the guy jump early. I saw him in the neutral zone. I saw it. Damn right I saw it. Second, first, and five. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> one time. One time. Oh, there we go. First down. Another first down. 
Rodriguez Davis. See, where, he, he disappeared in this game pack team in real life. First and 10 for 26. Here we go, game packs. Under two minutes to go. Bentley looking. Looking. Brian Edwards again. Just taking over. Second and four. Don't stop believing in these game cocks. I like the play calling in the computer, but they did in real life back in the day. Oh, God, sacked him. Sacked him. That's going to happen. Third and 14th. Big sack. Javar. Javaris Davis. Offense. Third and 14. A little time out to regroup. Third and 14. This is a big play right here, folks. Third and 14. Need something. Need something. Don't get, get all 14 now. Don't get all 14 right here. It's four down territory. Four down part of the game. Five yard pickup. Okay. Fourth and nine. Here we go. Here we go. This is the ball game. This is the ball game right here. Set the throw. Bentley's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh, Jesus. That's it. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Well, they covered the spread for crying out loud. I know it doesn't mean much, but damn. All right. I think we can kind of end this game now. Let's do something crazy. Clears the hole. Make sure they don't fumble. Let me pull it. Jamarcus King. Good job there. Let's see if... Defense gonna call a timeout. They're gonna. We're gonna. I would just kneel the ball down. Takes the knee. Good, that's classy, Auburn. That's classy. I tip my hat to you, Auburn. I tip my hat to you. That's class right there. That's SEC class. Brotherhood. Good job, Gus Malls on. So that's the ball again. Twenty to thirteen. Gamecocks. You know, had a chance. Had a chance. They're right there. Cameron Petway, 167 yards rushing. We, we don't stop the rush. Three sacks from Adams. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, let's go to the Clemson game now. They play at Vanderbilt. We're going to we're going to ease them into the life of the SEC playing Vanderbilt. If you, a lot of you don't know that Vanderbilt owns Clemson all the time. All the time they own them. There's something to put out there. Clemson fans don't like to hear it, but it's true. Um, Clemson, Vanderbilt. Let's see here. September 1st. It's a Thursday night game. Thursday night, we all remember well, Thursday night. Must Champs debut for the Gamecocks this game, but Clemson now takes that spot. Let's take a look. We're going to control it. 25 point um, favors for Clemson right now. I don't think they're going to cover. I'm going to bet right now, they're not going to cover the spread. I got uh, Deshaun, Tankersley, uh, Ben Bullware, he couldn't cover me. Uh, J.R. Johnson, Carlos Watkins here. Um, the main thing for uh, Ralph Webb's pretty good. They got pretty good rushing for Vanderbilt five. They got to run the ball and keep it out of Clemson's hands, and that's how you win the ball game. Eighty-three degrees. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and play the first quarter and see what happens. After one, seven to seven, seven to seven. <laughs> Upset alert. Upset alert, 7-7. Seven to seven. Let's play to the half. At the half, 21-14. This is the whole new world, Clemson. You don't know what you're in for. You're playing the worst team in the SEC right now. You're struggling. There's an omen for things to come. And you you might you might go you might go seven and five this year. Let's take a little box score real quick. Deshaun, 11 for 16, went 11. Gallman, 6 for 44. Uh, Watson's got five carriers there. Shermer, pretty good. Look at Ralph Webb. 70 yards a carry. That's a problem, Clemson. That's a, that's a problem right now. You can't stop Vanderbilt's running game. Good Lord, look out. I like what I'm seeing. Let's go to the third quarter. 24-21. We're in for a nail butter right now, folks. Vanderbilt is, is playing with the Clemson Tigers in week one. Okay, all those theories we have right now, they look like they're coming true. I'm not saying Clemson's going to lose this game, but they're in a battle right now. And all the Clemson fans are watching, so this computer's stupid. No, 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 no. This computer is legit. Legit, folks. Let's kind of go through a little bit more. 24-21, a field goal attempt coming up for Vanderbilt here to tie the ball again. Look at this. Look at this. We are tied up at 20. 
for. This is be a long video. I'm sorry. You know, it's not my fault that Clemson can't take these teams out. I thought it'd be a short video. I thought Auburn would kill the Gamecocks in about two minutes. And I thought you'd kill Vanderbilt in this game. And I thought this video would be like a six-minute video. Uh, for, and I'm sorry. We're, we're going to go long now. We're going to go long and see what happens. We're going to go long now and see what happens. We're going to watch this Clemson drive and see what they do. Because right now, Vanderbilt, all 18 fans in the crowd right now, Vanderbilt, are going crazy. All 18 of them. And they want to see a ball game right now. They, they've got a ball game here. Everyone's turned their attention right now. Okay. Completes the Artavius Scott. Artavis. Artavis. I don't know how to say his damn name. But you know who it is. Look at Ray Ray up there. Second and four. Uh-oh. Running a straight go route. Go route. Oh. Tip it away. Deshaun Watson. Hung it up a little bit too long. Come on, Deshaun. That's why you're not getting drafted. Mr. Trubisky had no problem this game earlier today. Third and four. Looking for Scott. Complete. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's breaking away. Runs out of room. 47. Okay. The, will Clemson escape? Will they escape? Will they escape is the question. Will they escape? That's the big question here, folks. Will they escape? Adam Choice hit hard. It's two yards, second and eight. I can see a pick six right about now. Give me a pick. Give me a pick six. Pick six. Okay, completion. All right, Clemson is, Clem is you know, taking over now like they should. They've got, you know, more talent than anybody, but they're struggling today. I got to go to the coaching. Dabo can't coach. Fact. Looking for McLeod. I'll pull down my Ray Ray. Maybe he'll drop the ball before he gets to the goal line to celebrate. Second and one coming up, second and one coming up, second and one from the 16-yard line, 5 ready to go in the game, 24-24 in a battle. Hunter Renfro, did they pick for him? They probably picked for him, probably illegal. Referee didn't see it, 13-yard pickup. First and goal for Clemson. I need a fumble right here, I need a fumble. I need a fumble. Gallman is stuck behind the line, that's that Vandy defense. It's anchor down. Anchor down. Second and goal from the four. Second and goal from the four. Come on now, Vandy. One time. One time. Oh, boy. Deshaun Watson keeps the ball on the option. I saw, like, at least three holds. I'm not going to lie to you. I saw three guys hold, but they're not going to call it because I want to protect Clemson. All right, whatever. So, 30-24. 31-24, and uh, we're going to see if Clemson's defense can step up here. Greg Hugel, I heard he has, like, has a drug problem. He uh, puts something good. 31-24. It's kind of embarrassing, Clemson. i got to be honest with you. If you win this game, it's pretty. I should be embarrassed right now. I know this, this game is four years ago, and it's not really real, and this game never happened. But you know what? This is what would have happened. Let's be honest. This computer does not lie. does not lie. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Darius Sims brings it back to the 33-yard line. Vanderbilt's not going to go away. They are not going to go away. Kyle Shermer says, it's my game. It's my game. Blasting game on the run. Albert Huggins is there. All full of Osterine, I'm sure. Second and 12. Standard set for Clemson. Here's the snap. Shermer looking, looking. Looking for Sims. Caught by Sims. Make a move. Nine-yard pickup. Nine-yard pickup. He's hurt, though. A little minor injury. Gonna have to take him out. Third and short now. Injury time on the field. Get him off there. Third and three. Big. I think he's four-down territory right now. You, you don't punt here, Vanderbilt. You don't punt. Play fake the web. Ah, uh, incomplete. Fourth and three. Oh, they're punting. I, I just I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. You need to fake this or something. Good punt. Doesn't look good now. 16 yard line. Barry McLeod making a mistake. Shocking. Not Barry McLeod. I need a turnover right now. We need a little turnover. We need a little something. Feaster in the game. He leans for over two yards. Tavian Feaster. Um was not properly developed until he got to Carolina then he was built up like a man like he should have 
My cloud has the ball. I'm gonna type on tire plate. Clock is ticking. I don't like that. They still went for it. They still went for it, man. Vanderbilt, you, you gotta. It's not many times you get a chance to beat Clemson. You get a chance to beat them. You gotta go for the fourth down. I don't agree with the call. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll stop him here and get the ball back. I just don't see it. Uh oh. Watson's gonna. Watson takes over. 30, 40. Midfield. Is he gone? He's pushed out of bounds to 44. That pretty much ended the game. Vanderbilt, I'm telling you right now, we still went for it on the fourth down. If I was your coach, we went for it, we would have made it, and we would have been tying this ball, getting up, gone for two, and win the game. Adam Choice, Adam Choice. No. Defense. I don't know. By the way, for those of you who are watching this video, uh, check out the Rob, Comrade, and Kale podcast. Check it out on iTunes, Spotify. I'm Comrade, by the way. Rob Sanders is a tater. I'm a Gamecock, and Kale is a Gamecock, and we argue about college football all the time. Third and six right now. Calls for timeout. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Gallman, only one yard. Fourth down now. They're going to punt him away, so Vanderbilt will get the ball back, but still, I think they're better off uh, going for it. Got to try blocking the punt. Let's see if they can block one. Good penetration. Come on, get it. Get in there. Get in there. I oh, got it away. Got it away. Touchback. So 80 yards to go in 49 seconds. Maybe we can. Maybe we'll see it. This could be a miracle of all miracles. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. C.J. Duncan is he there. Tanner Muse. Oh, Tanner Muse makes the play. You know this this computer. Something's wrong with it. Tanner Muse making the play. Blitz by Clemson, They're trying to end this game, trying to knock out Shermer. Shermer in trouble. He's looking. He's got Pinckney. Oh. oh. Picked off by Van Smith. The deflection. Let's see if they're going to get him here. That's going to end the ball game. He scores. A pick six for Clemson. To end the game, pretty much, 38-24, and uh, I've seen enough. I've seen enough, damn it. I've seen enough. I have seen enough. Let's end this end this thing now. Let's end it now. I don't want to see any more. But bottom line, it's still embarrassing. You should be embarrassed by that. 38-24 is the final. Uh, Watson, 23-33, 270. Uh, Webb, 90 yards for Webb. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you guys are in trouble. You guys are in trouble playing that kind of crappy defense. Um, turnovers, 2-0 to zero there. Possession. Uh, penalties. Um, cheating Vanderbilt for 10 penalties. They don't, Vanderbilt does not make penalties. They're too smart for that. All right. So that's the game there. Let's go ahead and um, auto play of the day or the week. We kind of simmed all the games that are important. App State plus Tennessee. I didn't, I didn't do that one. I should have done that one. We'll see if App State beats Tennessee. There are some of these games here. I think they are. Tennessee won big. Josh Dobbs with the forehead comes up big. So there's some of these games out, and then we're going to show the polls. I, I will tell you, the polls um, on this game are pretty cool, but in week one, they don't make a whole lot of sense. So they do it kind of like the way probably we should do it. There is no preseason poll, so they base it off of the games you have played and so um, and who you played. So I'm curious where Clemson will be ranked. Clemson will be ranked really high, but don't really get too concerned. It kind of evens out as the year goes along. Um, if you keep on winning and stuff like that. But I'm kind of curious will they put Clemson in week one after that horrible performance against Vanderbilt. Um, so we'll see what happens. Like, there'll be some kind of random team at number one after week one. It won't make a lot of sense. But it, it's just how they do it with the, I think it's like margin of victory and who you played and all that stuff. So, all right. It's simulating week one. Takes a little while. A lot of college games. Uh, Stanford over Kansas State. That's a pretty pretty good game there. I didn't, I didn't see that one. Uh, Temple takes care of Army. We saw the Michigan State game. Let's see what else we if we missed anything else here. 
going through. This is a long video I thought. I thought both the games would be a blow up, to be honest with you, so it's pretty wild that, that um it took that long. They're still swimming through the big set of games. Eighty seven games in week one in college football. Um Duke won, Louisiana Monroe won, Maryland beat Howard in the blowout there, Miami, good lord, 83-3. to That's one thing, these, um, because the computer, they don't really kind of like let up and put in their bench and stuff, so you'll see some big time blowouts because they don't really... Humans, beings, will take out their second string and first string and put their second and third string and their walk-ins, walk-ons in, but they just play the game like, you know, like they're, like they're trying to win the game. So, JT, Ohio State be blowing rings, something or nothing. So, you'll see some big-time blowouts um, at times when you play um, these mismatches here. They'll know with Pittsburgh down here. Pittsburgh with a win. We saw Bam on USC already. And there's some of these games we go through. And we'll get to the rankings here in a second once it gets through all this stuff. So, But while we're doing this too, uh, also check out uh, mymoneystore.net as a sponsor of uh, uh, the YouTube channel here and uh, the pesky.net and retrobaseball.net uh, and the newsletter. Go check out Retro Baseball. Um, for baseball simulations, but mymoneystore.net is a place you can get loans. No matter your credit, bad credit, no credit, they can hook you up with some loans, so check them out. Good sponsor of the show. And I think week one is about done. Let's take a look here. An exciting week one. Gamecocks in a ball game that they, I didn't think they'd be in, and Clemson um, got pushed to the brink. To the brink. Ah, there we go. Week one of the books. Let's do a little summary here. Okay, they got Bam number one. So that, that, that makes sense, I guess. Northwestern number two makes no sense, but that will kind of work its way out. South Dakota number 12. So the Frankings kind of, as we go along, get, make a little more sense. Clemson number 20. I don't blame you. Uh, playing Venerable that well. Um, but they do a point value based on your wins and how you did well and all that stuff. Look at Patrick Mahomes. He won't amount to anything. Uh, 631 yards for Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson up there. So pretty good stuff there uh, for um, those things there too. So that's kind of how it goes. Bam was number one right now. So that if we end the day, these are your four playoff teams. That It won't end that way, but that's how it is. Uh, week two schedule. We'll do this. Um, our next show, we'll do this, okay? So uh, hang in there, and I think the Gamecocks play. Uh, let's come up here and see. The Gamecock game. Do, 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 do. So next week, next show we'll do, so episode two, we will do is. I can't find. Clemson at Mississippi State, okay? Let's do a little preview of that one real quick. Preview it. It's taking forever. The game can be a little slow sometimes when you got all this information, but uh, Mississippi State, 25 point favorites again. So, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, Point from the country. Not too good. Uh, the Gamecocks are going to play. I see them down here. Do they have the week off? Do the Gamecocks have the week off on week two? They might. Hold on. Let's go to the Gamecocks. I might miss them on the screen. I'm blind. They play SC State. Did I see that there? I think I saw that game. I said that. No, they played Troy. This is a Troy game where the Troy got screwed in that game. 
So they play Troy next. So that we look for that. Then they play ST State. So, they get, so the game count should be uh, rolling around there. So anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this. Share it. Okay. And uh, uh, hit the little notification bell. We're doing episode two in a couple days. I'm going to try doing two a week until we get caught the regular season. And then we're going to play this out and see what happens. So Clemson won low. Gamecocks own one. That's what we expected. We didn't expect both games to be close, though. And we'll see what Clemson can do with the rest of the schedule. Uh, thanks for checking us out, guys. Uh, check out the Rob Comrade and Kale show. RobandComrade.com. You can find it all there. See you guys. Bye.